What's going on guys? Welcome back. Today, I'll be looking into the best ad blockers that are also VPNs. Now, if you didn't know, VPNs have some of the best blockers out there. And there are several reasons why you might wanna combine a VPN with an ad blocker. For example, let's say you're trying to watch a specific streaming service and you wanna make sure that there are no ads or if you're just on YouTube and you're browsing, that maybe you're accessing a different streaming service in a different country using the VPN. And you also wanna make sure that the ads are blocked. Well, a VPN is actually a great choice in these sorts of situations. Now, a VPN is not just for ad blocking, obviously. It's also so that you can protect your device by connecting to a server that is secured by the VPN provider. And you can actually specify which country you wanna connect to. For example, in this case, if I connect to France, then my internet will interpret it as if I'm in France myself, and I will therefore have access to local French content. And so that's essentially how VPNs work. But nowadays, a lot of good VPNs, as well as most premium VPNs, have really good ad blockers. And today, that's what we're going to test. So I wanna start with the Surfshark blocker here. If we go to settings, VPN settings, and make sure that the clean web ad blocker is on, once you have it on, all you have to do is just connect to a server, and that's pretty much it. Now, we're gonna use this site over here to test its ad blocking capabilities, and this is essentially an ad blocking tester. Basically, the more red we're seeing, the more it means that it's not that great, and the more green will be seen, the more ads that have been successfully blocked. So let's give it a go here without any VPN. It seems like we're getting about 6%. Now, let's give it a retest with Surfshark, and as you can see, it looks like we've been able to block up to 127 ads, which is about 94%. And that's actually a really good result given how affordable it is. And so the Surfshark application has great ad blocking capabilities, but it's best to pair it up with an individual ad blocker if you want to reach that 100%. All right, now let's do the same thing with ExpressVPN. So if I were to go to the ExpressVPN options right here and make sure that everything is on in this section, I can just go ahead and connect to any server. And once I'm connected, all I have to do is just give this a refresh and wait for the tester to give me the results. But essentially, I suspect that we'd reach similar, if not higher percentages here with ExpressVPN. My guess is it would be around the 94 to 96% mark. And there we go. It gave us a 92%, which is just a tiny bit lower than Surfshark as it blocked 124 ads, whereas Surfshark blocked 127. So essentially they're about the same effectiveness against ads, but Surfshark has a slight edge over Express. Okay, so now that we've tested Surfshark and ExpressVPN, let's also give a live test to NordVPN. Now with NordVPN, we have the most advanced one here. We've got file protection, which is sort of like a mini antivirus. And then we have web protection and threat protection light, which should always be on. And if you take a look at this, this will essentially block all kinds of trackers, malicious websites, and other parameters that websites pick up to keep track of your data and your habits. So, you wanna make sure that this is on and you also wanna make sure that the threat protection light is on as well because this will also enhance the DNS filtering to block ads when the VPN is on. So I'll wait until this is on and then I can just go ahead and connect to any country. Let's just go with the most recently used server. Now that I'm connected, let's just give it a refresh and see what happens here. And I suspect we'll get about 98 here given that we got 94 with Surfshark and Nord has better ad blocking capabilities and. There we go, we got a 98% with Nord, the highest result of the three, as it blocked 132 ads out of 135. So as far as blocking ads, it seems like NordVPN is the best out of the three. Now, if you wanna maximize your ad blocking capabilities, what you wanna do is use a VPN as well as an individual blocker. And this will be the most effective way to block ads. And that's basically it for this video. If you guys are interested in any of these VPNs, you'll find links to pricing and discounts in the description down below, as well as full reviews if you'd like to learn a little bit more about them. And when going for any of these VPNs, I did ask Express and they mentioned that a lot of people end up spending more money on the monthly plan, thinking they're not gonna need the VPN for more than a month, but they do end up using it for longer than a month and they keep resubscribing to this very expensive plan. Whereas if you go for the longer term plans, you'll be able to save a little bit more money, especially using the link down below. Oh, and there's a 30 day money back guarantee if you change your mind for whatever reason. So again, hopefully you found this video helpful. If so, please leave a thumbs up as I always appreciate that. And again, remember to check the description below for any promotions or discounts. And if there are any coupon codes, I'll make sure to find the best ones for you guys. So 
as always, you can save as much money as possible. And if you have any other comments or questions, put them down below as I love getting to answer as many of those as I can. Otherwise, thanks so much for watching you guys. I really appreciate it. And I will look forward to seeing you in the next video.